And welcome back. Bruce Porter joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents segment. Good to see you again. Good to see you. I haven't seen you for a little while. I know. Okay. It's been a while. All right, let, let's jump into this topic because I know you've got a lot to cover. We're going to be focusing on knowing our risks. And you shared a quote with us that says, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. So, that was from Warren Buffett, and he probably knows. You know, I, I think that he's probably an expert on risk and risk management. Multi-billionaire like kind of guy. I think so. I yeah. think, I think well, here's the takeaway from that. We mitigate risk on a daily basis. Uh -huh. Now, you know, we wash our hands. Right. We buckle up. Right. Right. Maybe you count your calories, you watch your sugar intake, you do, you do things to mitigate future health risk, sure, right? Sure. So I think we've got to think about moving forward, how does the uh, risk affect uh, savings and retirement and things like that? Well, it's still health. It's your financial health. That's right. It's a little bit different. You've got to have time. You've got to have discipline. You've got to have, you know, it's a little complex when you look at saving money for right. different things. Oh. Everything takes on a different role. Okay, now you say assessing this comes in like three parts. Right. Explain that, if you will. Well, so three biggest risks that we face. I mean, structural risk, all right? Structuring means the mechanics of savings. Okay. You know, who, uh, what are we going to use as a tool to save with? Uh, who are we going to get to help us? Uh, you know, uh, uh, how much? How much are we going to save out of our paycheck or out of our uh, earnings every year? You know, are we making contributions? Are we doing this, that, and the other? Right. Mm -hmm. So it's structuring. How are we going to accomplish this thing called saving? So you and have the great framework to be able to build the house. That's around. right. And what a big mistake people make is they don't write down a game plan. They don't. They don't make it a, a goal that is something they can review and they can adjust and right. they can change and things like that. So we, we got to look at the structural risk uh, as number one. Okay, number, structure. Number two is market. Market risk. All right, market, that just means anything that has a variable performance uh -huh. has risk inherent pretty much to market investing. Now, you can buy real estate as an investment. What's your risk? Well, the value is going to go up or the value is going to go down. Yeah, there are two edges to that yeah. sword. So there's a variety of things that we can look at. You've got to weigh the losses versus the gain just on a scale. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously we want the gains to outpace the losses. I would say so. So that yeah. we've got higher value, things like that. Uh -huh. So market risk can apply to other things besides stocks and bonds and things like that, right? Right, now, absolutely. The, the big one is tax risk. This is going to be a focus that we're going to spend some time on this year discussing uh, taxes, not only now, but in the future. So the simple question is how much of my retirement money am I going to be able to spend and keep? Mm -hmm. The complex question is how much am I going to end up paying the government? So if you've deferred your because tax you liabilities... Because you will be sooner or later. That's right. The consensus amongst experts are uh, in, in a period of time, who knows how long, 10 years, 15 years, whatever, taxes are going to be inherently higher than they are today, okay. right? So here's the, the deal. I don't want to inherit. I don't want my, my silent beneficiary on my investment accounts to be the IRS. You know, do you ever think about the IRS inheriting more of your assets than your family does? Right. And right. That, yes. <laughs> so that's the deal. So, Tom. I want if, to choose the people who are going to benefit. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So here's the big question. Yeah. If you could do something about that right now, and there were tools available to mitigate that future tax risk, would you take advantage of it? That's a no-brainer. Yes, you would take advantage of it. It's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. So those are some of the things that we're going to focus on in the next couple of months are tools available that can mitigate tax risk in the future. Market risk we can track. Structurally, we can discipline to save. Mm -hmm. The one thing we can't control, every four years, the tax code code gets reelected, right. just like our administration does. So, so those are the things we want to pay attention to. And, and the thing is, you know, when people do look at this, it seems this is overwhelming. I can't keep, I don't have enough knowledge. I, 
that's where someone like you, a consultant, does come into the picture. Absolutely. You're going to keep track of this stuff right. for me. I'm not going to prepare your taxes, but I'm going to help you plan yeah. how to pay future taxes. Simple solutions in a complex world. That's been my tagline for 20 years, and we even apply it today to these complex issues that keep changing and evolving all the time. Have a plan. Follow the plan. Be ready to change That's once right. in a while. That's right. 882-1800. There it is. So if you have a financial question for Bruce, you know, visit his web website, resourcecenterinc.com, or, again, give him that call at 882-1800. Bruce, always good to see you. Thanks see for the you advice. See you next week. Okay. Oh.